An annual college football tradition continues in just hours. A pair of top 25 teams, Iowa and Tennessee, will square off in the Cheese It Citrus Bowl. And as always, tens of thousands of fans are expected in Orlando for the big game. Ezzy Castro is live at Camping World Stadium in Ezzy. These bowl games mean millions of dollars for the local economy. That's right, Crystal. So Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says that these games bring in about a hundred million dollars worth of economic impact to the city. So just think about that. In just a few hours, thousands will be here to ring in the new year for the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. The seventh oldest bowl game in the country is taking place right here at Camping World Stadium, the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. And as always, tens of thousands of fans are expected to be here, this time to cheer on the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Tennessee Volunteers. We've been doing this since the 40s, way back Tangerine Bowl times, and now we've got three bowl games. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says Orlando has hosted three bowl games, including the Cure Bowl and last week's Pop-Tarts Bowl, where 31,000 attended. Dyer explained all three events bring in a major boost to local businesses and transportation. In addition to the direct economic impact of visitors staying in hotels, spending money in restaurants, paying for tickets, paying for parking, paying for other transportation, you have the indirect impact of everybody that snowed in in the northeast and the northwest watching sunny Florida. So if you're a football fan, you come to these games, you know how it all goes down, right? You got the tailgate party that's happening here at Tinker Field, which is right next to Camping World Stadium. And of course, we're going to be hearing from vendors. We heard from one vendor last week who participated in the Pop-Tarts Bowl and how this all brought economic boom to their businesses. That's coming up at 630. For now, live outside Camping World Stadium, as the cash dogan results, New Sags.